Well, that's the name. Hey everybody, welcome back to Off-Road Independence. My name is Eric McGrew, and today we're gonna to be talking about how well the Goodyear Duratrac tires do in mud. Now, I've gone over snow, and I've gone over daily driving on asphalt. I've even gone over how they do on slick rock and sand because I went out to Moab in them. But one thing I haven't really done much of is mud, and that's because I try not to do too many trails in the mud so that I don't overly exhaust the trail or tear it up too much and cause rut and um, any kind of damage to them. But today I had the opportunity, it's slightly snowy, it's slightly muddy, and I went through some really slick mud. It wasn't super deep mud, but it was really kind of snotty mud. I hate to use that term, but that's really what it was. It was kind of like ice skating. So how well did the Duratrax do on them? Well, honestly, these tires did excellent in the mud. I was really surprised. I didn't even air down. I'm running at 35 PSI on them. Now I am running the Duratrax C load rating tire, not the E load rating tire. So they have a, so a softer sidewall, but for this mid-sized truck, it's the perfect size and perfect weight. And these things handled awesomely. Braking was very, very consistent. I only got a little bit of slide, not too much. Uphill in four wheel drive was uh, just four wheel drive high on pretty steep inclines was good. I didn't have any issues turning. There were a couple of steep um, off camber turns. And of course, as expected, you did slide slightly, but it bit in real quick and it went right around the curve and I had no issue. Mud puddles up to the hubs or up to the um, axle, no issue. Went straight through it with the mud in the rock in the bottom. And so I can honestly say that these tires have probably been one of my best all around performing tires. So now we have snow, asphalt, sand, slick rock and Moab and mud here and they are really worth the money in my opinion. Are they the best tire out on the market? I won't say that, but I will say that if you're looking for something to handle all those features reasonably and consistently, they are a really good option. So keep that in mind for your next purchase if you're looking at them. Once again, this is Eric with Off-Road Independence. I wanna thank you for stopping by, checking out this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you guys learned something beneficial today. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up for a like on the video. Also, please don't forget to comment, share the video, and hit that subscribe button. Beside the subscribe button, you'll see a little bell. Click that. That will ensure that every video I put up on my channel, you get and you don't miss one. And that'll really help me out as well. So spread the word. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. Hope to see you in the next one and have fun wheeling.